attacks of his to get inside and get the hit on Navashilov. If Navashilov is able to stop him, then, then it will be a very different match. But let's see what happens. Well, there you go. Yep. Immediate, immediate attack. The flesh attack from Pizzo, and we're going to see a lot of that. And Novoshilov had no answer on that occasion. Right on the mask. Right on the throat. Well, Pizzo has put his stamp on this early. Let's see what Novoshilov... Is no. going to do to keep that from happening again. Well, push forward, I think, is the answer. Well, he's got to keep try and control Pizzo. If he gives Pizzo too much room to build the attack, well, bank to the foot in the low line and then up. Let's see, he goes down and then up and gets the hit, and he's, he's got the start to this match planned out pretty well. So I was watching Paolo Pizzo in the pool uh, and he's been fired up all the way through. Uh, it, he has he has no other he has no other mode he has no other setting than fired up and moving forward. A sweatband under his uh, fencing mask, keeping the humidity from dripping. And when you when he takes his mask off, you'll see him absolutely drenched in sweat. And if he gets a lead. He'll start encouraging the crowd. First double. But Novozhilov, well, he's only a point behind. And he's no slouch. And that time, it was Novozhilov that won the close encounter. Well, Pizzo engagement. asking for a video review here. Let's look at this. Is he saying core a core? What's he saying? Well, it could be, I, I think he's trying anything. Core a core, going past. Nothing given. Three apiece. Turning. Oh, that uh -huh. time. Novozhilov yeah. saw the flesh, the arrow yeah. attack coming. And, and, and as we said, what's going to set the tone for this match is if Napito can get inside or if Novozhilov can stop it. That was a perfect stop. Step back. Beautiful parry riposte. So just checking the tip of his epe. Another double. Well, they've both walked in and walked onto uh, each other's blade there. It's nice. That was nice from Pizzo. So scored with that flesh attack, the very first point he scored, but the last... Uh, 
well, two or three it, times he's tried it. It's not working. Why is, it, the, why is it, that? It, well, he did it once, and Novoselov has basically said, you're not going to do that again. So he's opened the distance where he's got more room to control those. Once again, you know, Pito beating the Novoselov's blade, stepping inside the point of Novoselov's blade and getting the hit. It doesn't have to be a flesh attack. He just has to get inside. And controlling that distance is going to be a really tricky thing for Novoselov here. Novoselov looked like he could have scored a double there. Was that just timed out? It could have been, but I, I, I think that had more to do with Pizzo blocking out. And Novoselov returning the favor there. So animated, the Italian. It's a style, a technique, all of his own. So hard to deal with. But Novoselov is a classic epist. So how'd you deal with that? Mm. Well, he stepped in. He takes a step in, and Pizzo just simply launches. And it's, as we said, it's the, the distance control here for Novoselov is the really tricky bit, how to balance it. And we go to a one-minute break, but this has been a great match so far. Well, only two points in it, but you've got to really say that Paolo Pizzo is in the driving seat, surely, David. Well, he's got a two-point lead, um, but this is Nikolai Nabosilov. He is a smart fencer. He knows what the challenge is. He's got a minute to think about it. He's got a minute to, you know, think about how he's going to alter his tactics to change his approach. and and. And the key here for him is being able to get the distance control just right so well, that he's got the room to pick up those attacks. What's Power Pizza doing? He's just like pumping himself up, not really listening to the coach. He's taking huge breaths in and out and pumping his chest. Yes, because that is what he does. So I, I expect Paolo Pizzo to, to launch himself here. He will want to blow this open. And you can see Nabashilov has come out with the pace way up. It's not helped. No. He's heading in one direction. So Paolo Pizzo, commanding lead now, four points up. And Novoselov needs to start to attack and get some points on the board. Well, Novos that's playing Novo into Pizzo's hands. No, Novoselov, you know, he's been down before. He's been down today. 
and fought his way back in and continued to advance throughout the day. It is not beyond his reach, but he, he has not found that balance that he needs. Well, Pizzo can't stop attacking because that is the way that uh, he is that he is built, and that's the way that it works for him. And I think if he invites Novozhilov on, then Novozhilov is smart enough to get through. And he's got to be careful, or otherwise the Estonian will work his way back into this match. The double is not helpful at this point. Well, not for Novozhilov. Very helpful for Paolo Pizzo. And another two of them would do him very nicely. Pizzo attack there, didn't really need to, and didn't have the conviction that he had no, no. Uh, in the first period. Or, or the speed. Crucial, crucial period of this match. Only two points in it now. Pizzo has taken his foot off the gas, and... Novozhilov is getting back into the fight. The momentum, if anything, has switched to the Estonian. He's getting the distance right here. Well, Pizza stopped attacking. Well, he, he hasn't stopped attacking, but Novozhilov has got more room to pick up the attack as he does there. Control the blade, land the hit. Again, again. Attacking from too far out, as you say. Well, Novoselov is helping Pizzo to attack from too far out by keeping the distance. You see there, you see it again, as we saw in the last exchange. Novoselov is making sure he's got the space to pick up Pizzo's blade. It's a 12 all, and the momentum very much switched to the Estonian fencer. What will Pizzo do now? He's going to try and get inside, and Novoselov is going to keep him from doing that. That's what we said was the absolute key to this match. If Novoselov can keep this up, it's all his. Well, Pizzo started well, like a whirlwind. Pizzo needs to reset. Now he's trying, he wants to draw Novoselov in. He wants to, he wants Novoselov to close the distance so that he's got a shot inside. And if Novoselov falls for that, we're gonna be tied. Beautiful. That's the pizza that we saw in the first period. Patiently, patiently working his way and then boom. The flesh. And one light on means that we're now tied. The target is 15. There's just under a minute left in this second period. I don't think we'll make it to the break. You never know. They may suddenly slow down, but not the way that Pizzo's going. Oh, no, 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 Nikolai Nabashilov. Don't do that. So Pizzo just one point away. Now, will he attack? Will he invite uh, Novozhilov on again? Oh, and that's beautiful from Paolo Pizzo. It Paolo is. Pizzo is the world champion after a wait of six years. He is world champion again. Absolutely brilliant from the Italian. I really thought uh, that uh, he had it in the bag, but Nicolai